Hey guys and welcome back behind the wire. We've got a pretty big day today because our bread heifers are coming home for cabin season. Last night I got set up here I'm filling up tanks I need to switch my float uh, I got salt out there I got a protein tub I ran a, went around the fence I know it don't look like it but there's a hot wire in front of the fence so they'll stay in I need some panels because I've got a head catch but no panels leading up to it or anything like that so today that's the plan we've got another group of fall pears coming to my corn stalks down the road here in a little bit they'll be heading down the road and I'll turn them in then we'll head out and go sort our bread heifers off our falls. That float didn't stop last night. It ain't too bad. Oof. Oh, I'm soaked. But the heifers are gonna calve in this pen until I get some rye growth because we drilled some cover crops last fall that were supposed to come up last fall and carry through the winter. So I was hoping I'd have turnips and radishes right now and no rain, no plants. But there is quite a bit of rye in there and the rye's coming up so I'm hoping the 10th of April, 15th of April, maybe I can kick something out there and get a little bit of eating out there it's rather than haying all the time up in a pen. It's going around my fence one last time before the cows get here. I don't know if you can see them or not. Coming down the road. I was cleaning up my road here to drive through cows tear up all kinds of stuff but some neat barbed wire see a bunch of prairie chickens right up here don't focus on the winder can't zoom in folks got a dirty windshield The deer have kind of made a mess of some fence that wasn't left hot. So there were cattle in here before and they went to the ranch to start their cabin now. But now some fall pears can finish up eating in here so they're coming back in. So there's been a few days without cattle in here and the deer took advantage of some fence. So we've got the corner all dropped here so they can go in into the field anywhere right there. Here they come. So some things that have happened recently, uh, the geese are definitely here, the cranes are here, the turkeys are here, all the birds are here. Something more exciting than that is the fact that 
all the take-in cows for the winter are shipped out and gone. We've just got a lot of fence out, though we've still got to keep picking up, and the wire winder has been running pretty much all day for a few days now. Not today though, we got to get these bread heifers, so let's go get them. Well, we got one load of breads loaded up and we're going down the road. Now, I just hope all the tires hold up. The wind's windy today, so loaded, we're gonna get a little bit of a boost, a little bit of help going down the highway heading north today. It might not seem like a huge deal getting taking bread heifers home, but uh, when they're 40 minutes away and you gotta truck them home, it feels pretty good once you get it all done. All right, so we made it. Didn't we? I'm gonna take this time while they're caught and in the trailer to go ahead and pour them. with all of our tires. So we're gonna hobble this home with three tires, three halfway good tires, hopefully they make it. Unload this trailer and go get some new tires put on. Oh yeah, we got the fall pairs moved, so that's good. Just got a few more of the plus slash bread heifers to bring home. Get the two horses back, get them heifers home, and then we got us a day. Got the brand new tires put on, finally. heifers spent the whole summer here and that's their gate to go out to all the pasture so they're curious as to why there would be a panel there and why they can't go out and eat green grass 
And that would be because there's no green grouse and we also want them up here at the house. They like it. Yeah.